Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. This is Amy at Mystic Fitness, teaching our annual Flow Before the Feast class. Wishing you at home, all around the world, just a beautiful holiday, shared with the people you love. We're all in child's pose here. We're listening to Bill Evans, Peace, Peace. If you've never heard it, look it up on your Apple Tunes or your Spotify and connect to your breath with us, breathing in through your nose and let go. Spread your shoulders, spread your right shoulder out to the right and your left shoulder out to the left. Let your heart rest. Spread your thighs a little wider apart. Surrender your body to Mother Earth. My buddy Steve's watching. Good morning, Steve. Happy Thanksgiving. I know my buddy Trev's out there. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. My friend Melissa's going to be modeling. Behind Melissa, her mother, Myrna. We have a few beautiful students in the studio this morning. Happy Thanksgiving and enjoy your practice. Students, come up on your heels. Let's sit upright slowly. And together we will chant Om. So you sit comfortably however you can. Bring your hands to your heart center. Set your intention for your practice. Close your eyes. Cleansing breath in and out. Breath in. Oh. <laughs> Returning to your child's pose at your own pace. Stretch your arms in front of you, hips back. Spread your thighs. Walk your hands to the right corner of your mat, giving a nice little side stretch to yourself on the left. Please try that on the other side. Hands walk over to the left corner. Isn't that a nice feeling to wake up on Thanksgiving and take these side stretches? Back to your center for me. Come up on hands and knees. So shoulders are above your wrists and hips are above your knees. We'll take some cow and cat postures. Inhale, we arch the spine. Exhale, we round and we tuck. Inhale, we arch. And we round. And just take some beautiful cow and cats at your own pace. and expand your range of motion if you wish. Find that breath.
Beautiful. We'll keep the left hand on the floor. Take your right arm. Breathe in and please lift it up, opening the chest to the side mirror. And just spend some time here. I want you to first find the length in that spine and then find that twist. Perhaps twisting out at your wrist as well. You can make a little fist and turn that fist. When you feel ready, that right arm threads underneath your left armpit and just take some solace there. And one more time, breathing in, find that sweep up. And the threading under. One last time, breathing in and thread under. And if you're not afraid to do so, try elevating your left leg. First, straighten it out behind you. And then maybe you find that balance where the left leg rises. Left leg comes down, returns back to the right knee, and the right arm reaches up and back down, tabletop. Trying the other side, inhale that left arm up and thread. Breathe in, lifts up. And under. And one more time, breathe it in. And this time, the left arm stays under, maybe a little pressure. Option to extend the right leg. And maybe find that balance. Nice job, guys. Lower that leg down. Unthread your arm, breathing up. And back down. Tabletop proper, you can start to circle your body clockwise. And counterclockwise. Good. Back in your tabletop, we'll take that right knee up. Stretch the leg back behind you. Open up to the right. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Bring it underneath you and then kick it straight back out. So here are your leg circles on the right. Push it back. Out, knee to elbow, knee under you, back, out, knee to elbow. And then, students, can you change the direction? So if the leg is straight back behind you, bring knee to elbow, kick out, sweep it back. Let's try the other side. Just kind of lubricating the, the, the hip bone in its, in its socket, okay? So starting with bringing it out to the elbow, in and back. Some nice leg circles here. And then changing the direction by bringing the in, out, sweep back. Beautiful. All right. Doesn't it feel good? Bring the knee down. 
couple more cow and cats that you're pace, arching, rounding, arching, rounding. <laughs> I'd like you to try to uh, press into the tops of your feet and elevate your knees from the ground. Belly draws in. Good. Keep that belly drawn in. Let's build some core fire here. Holding this. Stay with that breath. Holding it, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, lower down, slap out the tops of your feet. Maybe the tops, that your hands too, play the drums on that, yeah. And then sit back on your heels. So a couple of options here. You can place the tops of your feet on the floor, or you can tuck your toes the way Judy's doing. If you really want to stretch those toe muscles, do you realize every part of our body has muscles? So stretching those toe muscles, tucking the toes. Hold this here. If you lean forward, you are uh, uh, mitigating the pressure. If you lean back, you're adding to the pressure. So you find the place where it feels good for your feet. And then we'll circle sweep our arms up. Good. Right arm drops, left arm comes over. Switch sides. Inhale. Twice more on each side. Let's bring our hands back down, slap out those feet for me. They're going to need it. <laughs> Beautifully done, guys. Tuck your toes under. Let's pick up our knees, downward facing dog. The first down dog of this beautiful Thanksgiving morning. So we're in for a rainy day here in Massachusetts. A lot of good stuff can get done on a rainy day. Fire up those thighs for me. Bend those knees. Bring them to a hover. And spring forward just into a high plank. Shoulders stop right above the wrists. Try it again. Hips pull up, the knees drop. Feel this on the insides of your thighs. Hips up, knees drop. High plank position. Take a few more. Up, knees bend. High plank. Control it all. Grounding back. High plank. On the tippy toes, as you bring those hips up, knees down, high plank. Take three more, one. If you take Erin's classes, she loves these rolling planks. She's taught me a lot. They're lovely for the spine and the thighs. Here we go. Prepare for flight. Bend those knees. Look forward. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. Feet meet the hands. Inhaling to flat back with your hands on shins. And exhale your forward fold. Inhale, students. Raise it all the way up. And hands come to your heart center. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, circle, sweep, raise it up. Exhale, forward, fold, take it all the way down. Hands on the ground, inhale, it, flat back, crown of head pulls forward. Hop, skip, jump, or walk back to that high plank. 
holding that plank, my students. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Elbows bend. Nice, Janine. Upward dog. Breathing in. You guys are great. Downward facing dog. Take your big breath in and let it go. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Breathe in and let go. Good. Bring the knees down. Separate them. Take your child's pose. Spreading the fingers, spreading your shoulders, spreading your thighs. Allow your body to just melt into the floor. You just created fire. Now we let those cinders just go wherever they want. And we reconnect to the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhaling. Find that connection. Maybe turning your head to the right, resting left ear on the floor, giving your neck a nice little twist. And turning your head to the left, right ear on the floor. It's nice to get your heart rate up high. And then to reset the level and come right back down to a peaceful state. And I know you're eager to get right back to work, but the rest in between the work is essential. Breathe in. Breathe out. Forehead on the ground, center child's pose. Hips come up off of your heels, tabletops position. Arching for cow. Rounding for cat. Either by tucking your toes or pressing into the tops of your feet, holding knees into a hover. Excellent. Holding that for five, four, three. Two, one, nicely done. Downward facing dog, pedal back, walk that dog for me. Pressing one heel at a time into the ground, bending one knee at a time and walk your dog. Big breath in, let go with your breath out. You got it. Bend the knees, look forward, prepare for flight. Hop, skip, jump, or walk, feet to meet the hands. Hands on shins, inhaling for your flat back, and exhaling forward fold. Inhale, raise it up, circle sweep all the way to the universe. Exhale, per hands, come to heart center, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, circle sweep, raise it up. Exhale, chair pose. So find that beautiful chair for yourselves. Arms can be out in front of you, or arms can be in goal pose. So whatever feels nice for you, whatever the shoulders are asking you for. I've got many variations in this beautiful room. Some students have done d gone to goal pose. Some are reaching up. Some are in prayer. We're going to take some chair rises here, okay? So we inhale, sweep up. Exhale, chair. Inhale. Exhale. 
exhale. Find the fire, breathe in and reach. Breathe out and dip. When you reach up, maybe you go on tippy toes and dip. We're going to add a twist, okay? So up, open, twist to the right chair. Up, open, twist to the left chair. Up. Pull that belly in every time you rise. Use those thigh muscles every time you rise. One more to the right. One more to the left. And end in your chair. Arms are in front of you or goal posts, whatever suits your seat. Bring it down a little deeper here for me. What I'd like you to do now is take that right arm and squeeze and swing back, opening up. Left arm and squeeze, swing back. Add those knee bends. If we were birds, we'd have to exercise our wings probably. Stretch them out, bird yoga. We can actually be a bird, inhale, circle, sweep, rise. Right arm swings under the left. Take that eagle arms, crossing at wrists and your elbows. Elbows pull down, bend your knees, sit down. Weight into the left leg, right leg extends. Right leg comes high, up and over. Nice, Melissa. Tucking foot behind calf, if that's available to you. Eagle on the right side, breathe, five. Four, three, two, one, release, circle, sweep, inhale, lift up, open up, left arm, left arm underneath the right, find those wings, elbows pull down, bend those knees, sit down, left leg extends, left leg high, up and over, tuck your foot behind your calf, Find that beautiful eagle. Sit a little deeper. Lift that chest a little higher. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Un untangle. Inhale. Circle. Sweep. Raise it up. Exhale. Forward fold. Take it all the way down. Inhaling. Flat back. Hop, skip, jump, or walk back to that high plank. Take that plank. Hold it five. Hold it four. Hold it three. Two. One. Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Out. Walk that dog. Y'all did a great job. Now, when you take these breaths in down dog, are you pulling in your belly with each breath? So inhale and really deep, 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 deep pull in of that powerful core. Here we go. Ready, guys? Walk that dog. Sun salutation B. We're going to add our warriors. First, together, take that big breath in, rise up on the toes, and let it go. Ah. Bend the knees, prepare for flight, look forward. Hop, skip, jump, or walk. Nice, Larry. Inhaling, flat back with hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle, sweep, raise it up. 
Exhale, per hands to your heart center. Breathe in. Breathe it out. Who wants to do a burpee? You guys into burpees? Janine, I know you are. Let's do it. Melissa, can you demonstrate a burpee? Inhale up, down, hop it back, hop it forward. Circle sweep, raise it up, down, hop back, hop forward. Circle sweep, down, hop back, hop forward. Circle sweep. Take these at your own pace. Good, Jeffrey. If you don't feel like hopping back, you don't have to. You can walk it back. Go as fast or slow as you want. You got it, Judy. Breathe it in and out. Here in the studio, we've got Robert Plant and Alison Krause. Please read the letter. It's a great burpee song. Raise up, down, hop back, hop forward. How about 10 more, Melissa? Is that fair? All right, one, two, three, four. Take your time. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, and we'll land in standing all together. Shake out that right arm. Shake out that left arm. Shake out both arms. Shake out that right leg. Shake out that left leg. Shake out your whole body. We're going into 10 more, so get those shakes in while you can. And here we go. Ready, guys? Three. Two, one, circle sweep, raise it up. Exhale, per hands to your heart center, ground, breathe in and breathe it out and go. Inhale, rise up, exhale, forward fold, hands on the ground, hop it back. One, two, Three, I'll make it up to you, I promise. Four, five, six. I'll point out, Melissa's what, 25 years old? 27. All right, TV audience, she's young. If you're even doing one one hundredth of this, you are a master. There's three more to go. Let's go. One. I just made that up. <laughs> Two. You guys are doing great. Three. Shake out however you want to shake out. Whatever it takes, you do it. Right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Roll those shoulders forward and back. You guys ready for a little balancing? Find your free movements all you want. I like to do a backstroke. So we're just kind of moving around in this studio.
All right. Cha cha cha. Well done. All right, we're going to settle. We're going to balance here. Spread the soles of your feet. Press the feet firmly into the floor. You're going to put your weight into that left leg. Keep it strong. Keep your hip on top of your knee, on top of your ankle, okay? Interlace those fingers and raise that right knee up. Well, I like that. So you can use your interlaced fingers first as just a way to press the thigh down as that thigh pushes up. And second, as a little way to grasp the shin, work on those alignments. Make sure you're not pushing the left hip out. Shoulders draw back. Breathe. Circling your at your ankle, if you wish. And then right hand on right shin, left arm out to the left. We open into Nataraja position, Dancer King. Keep that belly drawn in and up. Use those abdominals. Option to gaze over your left hand. Five, four, three, two. The dismount will be into eagle, right leg up and over the left. I'm on a real bird jag lately. I just filmed the most beautiful blue heron uh, walking in the water behind my house. That was a thrill. Right arm swings under the left. Eagle, we already visited this difficult posture. Second time around, it might feel a little easier. Nest your eagle, gently rolling the hips behind you as you bring your wings toward your thighs. Slowly untangling that right leg, finding your flying eagle. Very hard to do this. And the dismount from Flying Eagle is to land the ball of the right foot, untangle your wings, crescent lunge position. Take your hands in prayer above you, bend the elbows. How about resting on the pillow of your hands? Head goes back, chest inflates, breathe. And then opening up to a high twist to the right, please. Right heel drops, right arm dips, opens up, warrior two. Good job, guys. Good job. How is that warrior? Good, Jeff. How's that warrior two feeling? Watch those shoulders, stretch those arms. Flip the left palm, breathe in, find that side stretch. Beautiful. To windmill the arms and bring your right foot forward to step next to the left. Tadasana, standing pose, breathe. Ground, hands in prayer. Shall we try it on the other side? Whenever you guys are ready, circle, sweep up, lift up, rise. This is your left arm. It gets, oh, no, excuse moi, excuse moi, thank you. W weight goes in, yeah, weight goes into that right leg. Interlace those fingers, here we go. Left knee comes up, press down on that left thigh. And when you're ready, left shin comes up, circling at the left ankle if you like. It might feel good.
transitioning not to Raja. Eagle, left leg up and over, left arm under, staying here in proud eagle, or pressing your hips back gently, nested eagle, from your nest, untangle the left leg. Fly it back behind you. Point those toes. Left toes come down. Crescent lunge, eagle. Untangle those wings. Crescent lunge proper. Hands in prayer, bend the elbows, bend uh, your hands behind your head. Can you lean back into that beautiful pillow that your wrists make for your head? Feel those triceps stretching. What a beautiful stretch. Crescent lunge proper. High twist to the left, students. Left heel drops, warrior two position. Lower those shoulders for me. Stretch those arms. Flip your right palm. Breathe in, reverse. And when you're ready, the arms propel. The left foot steps forward to meet the right. Tadasana Mountains Pose. Let's look over the right shoulder. You could say hi to your friends on the right. We can see you smiling through your masks. Back to center. Look over your left shoulder. Let's take some head rolls, chin to chest. Oh, that feels so good. The other way. Back to center, roll those shoulders back. Forward. Put a little distance between your feet, hands on your hips. Take your torso rollers. Don't take my own. We'll take some knee rolls, but first I want you to take the edges of your hands and go ahead and just kind of uh, take a little massage to the right and left sides of the left kneecap. And I'll show you that closely in the screen. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing to do. Just like that, guys. And trying that on the right kneecap. And once the kneecaps are warmed up, one hand can go on each. Bring your knees together and just start circling those knees. Both directions. Side to side. I'd like you to do this type of a primer anytime you're about to go running or hiking or on a long walk. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's take it back up nice and slowly, torso. Yeah. 
shoulders, head, two feet come together and arms are at our sides. Breathe. Do a little more balancing. That's the, the usually the core of my classes are, is the balance portion. Uh, a lot of you guys know that. Uh, weight goes into that left leg, left foot spreads. We're going to take one more of those shin lifts, please. I love this posture. Please work that left glute. It should be rock solid. And if you can release the left hand and make a little fist and maybe just make sure those muscles are going. Going nice and strong back there. Now, we don't want to hunch forward. We want to stand tall. And from here, I like to take the foot behind me, both hands. So the shoulders can draw back, thighs together, right knee pointing down, and the pelvis tucks under. No pressure on lower back. A beautiful quad stretch here. You guys feel that? And then you're going to take that right hand rotate the arm so that you make a little outward hook and try to hook the inside of your right foot from behind. Dancer's pose. Left arm shoots up. Go ahead, hinging on that left hip. Find your dancer. Releasing into your tree position, taking that right heel, placing it anywhere along that left leg that feels good for you. Feel free to move in your tree. Transcend. Tree dismount. Awesome job, you guys. You can shake out those legs a little. Take a drink. Of course, you should be drinking any time you want. We're going to take the other side. Okay. So arms to sides. Ground yourselves in Tadasana. Weight goes into the right leg, please. Interlace those fingers. Let's scoot that left shin up. Woo! <laughs> All right. Let's see. Circling at your ankle. And then taking that foot with both hands. A beautiful quad stretch. Knee points down, heel to high knee. And instead of slumping into this, uh, lift up from it. When you're ready, you're going to take that left hand, rotate the arm outward, place it on the inside of your left foot or ankle from behind. Right arm shoots up. Dancer. Way to go. Don't let anything steal your peace. Stay in that zone.
when you do transition, it will be into tree position. Transcend. Meditate. And dancer, release. Shake out anything that needs shaken. We're going to take it down. We're going to do some ab work and then some large muscle deep stretches. I got you taken care of for the best Thanksgiving ever. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, circle, sweep, rise. Exhale, prayer hands to heart center. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, circle, sweep, rise. Exhale, forward, full, take it down. Inhaling, flat back, hop, skip, jump, or walk, high plank. Hold that plank, holding it, five, four, three, two, one. Chaturanga, vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeah, all right. Let's go down to tabletop. Knees come down. We're going to do some ab work here. So belly draws in nice and firm. Okay, I want a flat back here. So no arch, no rounding. Make sure your back is neutral. Left knee is right underneath you as you extend that right leg back. <laughs> Lift it up if you can. And if you can't, that's okay. Leave it on the floor. Here we go. Left arm extends. We inhale, extend. Exhale, tuck under. Extend. Tuck under. Extend. Tuck under. Here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Right knee comes down, left hand comes down. Neutralize that spine, flat back. Left leg extends. Option to raise it. Use that left glute. Right arm extends. Inhale the extension. Exhale the tuck. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautifully done. Okay, here's a plank for you. Take that left foot and bring it out to the left like a kickstand. Yeah, roll on to the left palm. And the left knee, extend your right leg, finding your side plank. Now, there are options here. You can raise the right leg. Or you can lower the right foot, extend the left leg, and take both legs straight in your side plank. Two more breaths. Good. Right arm comes down. Take center plank or center tabletop, whichever suits your fancy. If you took tabletop, you're going to kick that right foot out to the right like a little kickstand. Roll over and find your side plank on your right knee. Option to elevate your left leg or option to straighten 
the right leg. Two more breaths. And then left arm comes down, knees come down. Plank or tabletop, if you're in plank, transition to tabletop. We'll inhale, arch. Exhale, round and tuck. One more time, the arch, the rounding and the tucking. And stay tucked and just circle that body clockwise. Counterclockwise. And I'd like you to uh, find your, uh, just walk those hands forward a little bit and find a cobra position, chin on the mat, hands below shoulders. Now the key here is really to press your pubic bone into the floor. So tilt the pelvis downward, please. Squeeze your thighs. Press the tops of your feet into the floor so the feet do not rise. All the weight and pressure is under the belly button. That frees your chest, your heart to open up, breathe, and just soar. Look over your right shoulder. Back to center, left shoulder, back to center, lower down, nicely done. Breathe in and breathe out. We'll try it again. Ready, guys? Weight in the lower body. Inhale, lift, chest rises. Squeeze the buttocks. Let's look over right, center. Left, center, lower down, extend your arms. We'll take three airplanes. Empty your body, exhaling. Inhale, fly. Exhale, lower. Inhale, fly. Exhale, lower. One more time and lower and just to stretch out our shoulders and our pecs bend your left elbow put the s palm of the left hand on the floor keep that right arm out and gently roll over Let us try the other side, rolling down. Left arm extends. Roll on over. Okay, roll down, guys. Reach back to your right foot with both hands. Here's your quad stretch. We do th did this while we were standing. Now we do it reclining. Thighs come together. Hold on to that foot and ankle. Pull your knee toward the back of the room. Rest your left leg. Thighs come together. Right hip bone touching the floor. Elevate the right thigh. Breathe. Lower that leg down. Release the foot. Relax the leg. Left knee bends. Hold it. Thighs come together. Squeeze. Let's lift it up.
Lower on down, guys. You did great. Push yourselves up. Use your hands. Crawl backward on your feet, taking your fixed firm position. Hips between the heels. Just be seated or s gently walk yourselves back to a point that feels good for you. Breathe. Gently walk yourselves out. We're going to take a core exercise straight from Bikram called half tortoise pose. So bring your thighs together so they touch. Sit on top of your heels. Sit upright if you can. Circle sweep those arms. Hands in prayer, cross your thumbs. Belly draws in, lift up. Even your chin lifts a little. And as you exhale, it's a slow flotation of your flat back coming down toward the floor. Now don't strain your back. Stretch out long. Belly draws in, and you raise yourself back up. So if you're in Erin's class, she would talk about you using your front spine. And I said to her one day, what's the front spine? And she said, it's all the deep core muscles. So use the deep core to slowly descend. Keep your hips glued to your heels. That's what makes this posture so challenging. And then belly draws in, and you raise yourselves up. Belly draws in deep. Let's take it one more time. And from there, my loves, child's pose. Spread your thighs, rest your head and take your child's pose. So a couple of people, when they came in at 7.45 today, they said, Amy, the room is not even hot. How are we going to practice in this? The ice blocks. One guy in particular who always yanks my chain. I said, don't worry. I'm going to work you guys so hard that you're going to feel nice and toasty. How do you guys feel so far? It's only a couple more hours. Roll over onto your backs. Let your heads face the front, please, and your feet face the back of the room. And you're going to put your knees up over your chest and just stir your knees, drawing them toward your chest and away from your chest. Opening and closing the legs.
Release your left leg down. Let's take wind removing pose on the right side, please. Squeeze your shin. like you to take a really lovely back exercise at this point. Right knee lifts up over the hip, right knee out to the right. Push your right heel down, rotate your right leg in. Knee up, knee out, push down, rotate in. Take some of these circles. Love is all around. We've got the Alexi Murdoch version of Silent Night playing here. And the last lyric was, love is all around. Okay, let's try the other side. You're going to rest your right leg. Interlace your fingers. Take wind relieving on the left. Squeeze. And when you're ready, take that beautiful back exercise. Knee out, straighten, rotate. Okay. Bring your knees to your chest and squeeze. How many of y'all plan on eating a lot today? No one, just me? All right. That's why, I, thank you. That's why I'm here too. Let's get some ab work in, some more. Okay, you guys up for it? Legs up in the air. This is a good crew. Let's put our fingers behind the back of our head at the base of the skull, the occipital region. Splay those elbows out. And you're going to keep your upper back two inches off the floor. Straighten those legs. Drop your left foot. Lift it, change right. Pulling belly in and down. Heck, I might even have a glass of wine today. I'm excited. It's been a while. Belly draws in and down. I'd like you to add a little twisting here of the obliques. Now the left elbow comes to right knee, right elbow to left. Change. Let's bend those knees and squeeze. Flatten your back on the floor. Push your heels up for your second set. 
hands come behind your head at the base of the skull guys chest lifts those legs stay up in the air and this time you pulse your chest towards your thighs pulse 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 and you can alternate you can pulse you can drop leg you can drop leg legs up pulse drop leg drop leg legs up pulse drop leg drop leg pulse and squeeze flatten that lower back on the floor give yourself some love put the soles of your feet on the floor we'll take a nice bridge position here bending the knees soles of feet plant starting with your pelvic tilt the tailbone points to the back of the room and the pubic bone toward the front of your room option to even tuck your arms under you if you wish start to raise the pelvis gently up Bring your foot down. Just like you to take a stick stretch here. Bring your thighs on your belly, bend your knees, give yourself a hug. Hey guys, I'm going to finish up with our studio people.
you at home have a great Shavasana. Thank you so much for tuning in. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you all. Uh, please love one another. That's the only reason we're on this planet. Uh, thanks for watching. Namaste.